Hey there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to our Tuesday online class on Wednesday. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me yesterday. We had yet another storm that was knocking out power, another snowstorm that was knocking out power here in my town and what what's really weird about that is that we don't normally lose power. It's just that I think maybe because it's March and because it was so wet and heavy, the snow was just weighting down all the trees, which was taking down all the power lines, which is a mess. We hadn't finished from the, we hadn't recovered from the last storm. So we did okay yesterday, um, and we're doing much better today. A whole lot of snow, but the sun is out, the sun is shining, and um, work is uh, back in action in my um, office upstairs, so you're going to hear a lot of banging throughout our, our class today. Thanks for bearing with me for that. Um, so welcome aboard, everybody. Oh, I see a whole bunch of you on today. So I'm really excited. I've been very excited about sharing this class. I'm going to be using the February Paper Pumpkin Kit for today's class, and I'm going to give you a couple notes on this. Um, the Paper Pumpkin Kits, in case you're not familiar with what is a Paper Pumpkin Kit, it's a, it's a monthly crafting kit that Stampin' Up! puts out, and you can subscribe to these in my online store. In fact, there's two specials happening that I'm going to tell you about in a minute. Um, they come every month. It's my favorite time of the month. I love using these, and not only do I love crafting with them, but I like um, using them for alternate projects and doing different things that are outside the box, so to speak, and that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, the kit that I'm using today is called Wild Wildflower Wishes, and it is February's kit. The March kit, the deadline's the 10th of every month, the, the March kit deadline has passed. The March kit actually sold out before the deadline, which is the first time that's ever happened. So that one I'm hoping to actually get any day, and I'll open it live when it does come. But all that says is you better sign up early for April because they may sell out early too, and that's exciting. Um, if they sell out, it usually means there will not be any refill kits in our online, in my online store. But this is February that I'm working with now. I'm a little bit late on it. Um, and the refill kits for this Wildflower Wishes that I'm going to be creating today is available in my online store. And it's only $8. I'm actually unboxing this one really quick before we get started because I used all of my original. So I'll show you what comes in the refill. It is an amazing deal. Um, and so you can still get this. And, and that is awesome. So very excited to see you guys. I see a lot of you sharing, which is awesome. Let me tell you about the prizes. Um, Prize Patrol, which I always have with my online classes, is a very exciting part of the class. I'm going to be giving away a whole bunch of paper pumpkin. So um, live, these are my live prizes that I've got right now. I've got two December kits. There, this is a full kit. There's a flutter and a flora and flutter and a two of those. And then I have one wildflower wishes, and I couldn't fit all of this into the screen, but the, the wildflower wishes also has a reusable tote bag. So um, if you win the, the, the February grand prize, you're also going to get this tote bag with it. All of the live prizes today come with a bonus uh, pearl jewel. So good luck. All you need to do to enter any of my prizes is leave a comment here. Now, you're seeing the pop-up scrapping. Everybody loves these, and I'm almost out, and they're not making any more, so this is one of the last. <laughs> Pop Paper Pumpkin Special Edition Pop-Up Scrap Bins, and you win this the same way by leaving a comment, but this is a new segment that I have started doing that um, you guys have really said you've enjoyed, and it's called the Early Bird Drawing. So at the 10-minute mark of this video, I am going to pick a winner live right here, um, from the comments that you've left, if you're on Facebook right now watching it live and, and you've left a comment, you are automatically entered to win all the prizes that I'm showing you. But if, you, if you've done it before the 10-minute mark, you are eligible to win this early bird drawing. Um, I'm going to do it in five minutes. And um, that is for the Paper Pumpkin Pop-Up Scrap Bin. Now, if you don't win one of the live prizes or the early bird, I also have an after live, which I'll draw on March 27th. Now, this one is for the current kit that I'm going to be working with and a tote bag. Everybody's eligible to win this, even if you're not watching it live. Just leave a comment. You will automatically be entered, even if you're on YouTube, on Facebook. We're live on Facebook, and then the replay goes on YouTube. Either way, you're going to be entered to win, and I'm going to draw it on March 27th. If you share this video on Facebook, either from YouTube or Facebook onto Facebook, I will enter you a second time into my after live drawing. Just be sure to type the word shared with a D into the comments, because that's the word I search on when I do my drawing, my after live drawing. <laughs> Sandy's saying, pick me, pick me. <laughs> 
All right. Well, good luck to everybody. So that's what I have going on in uh, for, for prizes today. So you got about five minutes, a little less than five minutes for that early bird. So get your comments in early. Whoops. Oh, go, that wasn't the one I meant to go to. We're going to go right over to this one. And I'm going to tell you what all the banging is about. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited about this. So this is my office last week. Um, so one of the things that I'm doing to celebrate $2 million is renovating my office so that it fits everybody. Um, so myself and my kids, we have been working on used furniture that I bought on Craigslist 15 years ago. Um, and I have since uh, hired an assistant to help out with all the office work and we just do not all fit. The space might make it work, but the desks and all just don't work. So part of my celebrating is renovating so that the space fits all of us efficiently and I don't have to file in crates anymore. And um, so this is what's happening right now. <laughs> this is about the phase that we're at right now. So you're going to hear a lot of banging going on um, and really excited about it. It's still a long ways from, from being being complete oh, and there goes the saw on cue <laughs> but so excited to be able to and, and then this will help me be more efficient with my customer service with my my group organizing everything all the behind the scenes work happens here everything that you see here on Facebook aside from the stamping pretty much everything happens in this office I, I live there 70 hours a week almost <laughs> And I love what I do, so I'm very excited to be able to, to do this. But just wanted to give you the heads up. Appreciate the, um, the patience with all of the sawing and banging. Um, okay, so what's happening in the Stampin' Up! world so that you guys can be in the know? I have one day left. Um, speaking of my $2 million celebration, I, I've done several flash sales just appreciating my customers for being amazing for the last almost 15 years of my Stampin' Up! demonstratorship. I love you guys. This is my last um, my last flash sale for the $2 million celebration. It is double frequent buyer point specials and frequent buyer points are um, when my customers place orders in my online store every $25 they get a point from me. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's just going to keep happening. <laughs> we should make some music to all of the, the construction sounds happening. Try stamping to it. It's quite fun. And um, anyway, so back to the double frequent buyer points. You get double your points, and you can redeem your points for free stamp sets. And so those those all happen for me. I have the information from this on my blog, but tomorrow's the deadline. Tomorrow's the very last day of the double frequent buyer points. So um, tomorrow is also um, the day that Celebration is launching its third release of new Celebration products. And I'm going to show these to you really quickly. Um, the celebration products, and I'm just popping over to my blog right now. Um, so these you may actually recognize because they are released uh, for sale in this, this third release. Um, these items are for sale in the occasions catalog and the annual catalog, but now they are also being released as of tomorrow till the end of the month as special celebration items. So if you have all of the celebration items, and I know a couple of you do already have everything, or you have everything that you want, you can actually earn some of these products free with your $50 orders. So um, there's some great stuff here. You can get the information on my blog. Simply click on the link in this video's description. But here is what's being offered in the third release. Now, this is the first time we've ever had a third release. It's kind of a surprise uh, bonus stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry Lynn says, congratulations on the two million. Thank you for that. Thank you. I love that. I owe that all to you guys, and I love you so much, so much. I love what I do. I love being able to do this with you guys, and I am exciting. And Mary says, I'm jealous. I would love a craft room. Mary, I would love a craft room, too. That's actually not my craft room. I craft in my dining room. That is actually my office where all the work happens. <laughs> because believe it or not, sometimes, you know, I, I have tutorials to write for you guys. I have blog posts that I do. All of that happens. It, it, behind the scenes in the office. Um, and when I put together all of the information on these resources pages, that's where it all takes place. So I'm very excited about it. But yes, yeah, someday I dream of having a craft room too. So <laughs> someday I hope to not have to do that in my dining room, but it's not first on the list. First on the list was making that space work so that we could continue the great service that we have. Um, okay, so that's what's happening in celebration. And the last thing is I am doing paper pumpkin card to, cards today, five card set is what we're going to be making in this class. Um, if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, 
or if you're not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, there are two specials happening right now with Paper Pumpkin kits. These are all-inclusive kits. Love them. Um, the There is a 50% off for two months if you are a brand new subscriber. So if you haven't subscribed yet to Paper Pumpkin and want to, you can take advantage of that. You can take advantage of that if you want to get one of the refills that we're using today. Um, you do need to be a subscriber, but you, you don't have to be active subscribers. So you can actually put your subscription on pause or hold. Just get the refill kit if you want to do that. But why? When you can get a full kit in April and May for 50% off, right? And the other special is marrying um, prepaid paper pumpkin kits, which you can get in my online store with paper pumpkin and getting celebration. And believe it or not, that's for existing customers or new customers. There is a way to do both if you are a new customer, and I have the information on how to double dip and get both of these specials on my blog. Click on the link in this video's description. All the details will be there. I am going to zap on over to our giveaway page because it's the 10 minute mark and it's time for an early bird drawing. Oh, I love doing this. Okay, so um, let me just do a quick, the early bird drawing today is for the uh, paper pumpkin pop-up scrap bin. And, uh, okay, so, wow, there's already a lot of you on here for the early bird. Love you guys. Okay, remind, remember, if you don't win this, you're still eligible for all the rest of it. I hope you guys can hear me over the sign. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you know, sometimes you, you don't realize all that goes into um, renovating. <laughs> But I'm getting used to it. It'll be really quiet when it's all done, I think. Melinda Hart, congratulations. Melinda has won the early bird drawing for the pop Paper Pumpkin Pop-Up Scrap Bin. Be sure to fill out the prize claim form on um, my blog. There's a there's a link in this video's description to that. All right. Oh, Pat Jealous. She said she started out in her dining room, and now she has 1,500 square feet of crafting space. I want to be you when I grow up. <laughs> One baby step at a time. It took me 15 years to get to the, the, the office renovating, so it might be another 15 before I get my own craft room. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I just need to survive this. It's been very, very hard. Even just looking something up in the catalog the other day, somebody asked for something, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, went to, I couldn't even find my catalog. It was buried under construction. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so it is time for some stamping. Don't forget, if, if, I have lots of prizes here to give away. Um, I'm going to pop down to the table here. These are my other live prizes, so if you did not win that the early bird, don't worry, there's still some great stuff here. I've got two December um, Flora and Flutter kits to give away, and then the grand prize today is the February kit that I'm using with um, a tote bag. And all you need to do is leave a comment to be entered to win any of those. Now... This is the kit I'm using. Again, these refills are still available in my online store as of right now. Once they sell out, they're gone. I'm doing a quick unboxing of this kit because the original, I had so much fun playing with it and use, using this kit, I used up pretty much the entire kit. So I don't have anything left. What that means is because I'm opening a full kit, I didn't have a refill available. Um, these two pieces don't come in the refill. So just a heads up, if you get the $8 refill in my online store for this wildflower, flower wildflower wishes kit um these two pieces will not be in it but i'm gonna sell these because i don't need two stamp sets yeah. and ink spots so if anybody um gets a refill and wants the stamp set the first one to email me at tammy at samplatammy.com can have those um all right so here's what comes in this was the february paper pumpkin kit quick unboxing because I did already um, unbox it when it first came. I, I did that live. But for those of you who didn't get a chance to see that, you want to see what's involved in Paper Pumpkin Kit, you're curious about it, it's flipping awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. Pat said she has a, her whole separate building. My friend Susan Adams has a has a stamp house. She has a house attached to her house. It's all stamping all, all the time. I'm so jealous. I love going to her stamp house. It's so fun. I like stamping anywhere. I'm happy to do it in my dining room. It's actually nice because I'm right in the middle of where, you know, every everything in the family takes place. <laughs> and I like doing it there, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a tight space. And right now it's covered in construction from the office. Okay, so here's what comes in the kit. We have envelopes that are going to match all of the cards that I'm making today. We have card bases that I'm actually going to be using for the cards that we're making for the alternate projects. There was... Um, these are panels for the card. We're going to be using these. There's three different patterns here. I know I'm doing a quick a quick run through because I, I have already done this, so I don't want to I don't want to spend too much time on because I want to stamp. <laughs> I want to stamp. These are um, little tags that you punch out, 
And then these are, well, I'm going to show you what these are stickers with um, pop out words. We're going to use all of these pretty much um, on the alternate projects. So there's a whole bunch of these are, these are all sticker sheets here. So that, that's what comes in the $8 kit. That's a pretty awesome deal. If you ask me, oh my gosh, all of this stuff, right? Pretty much all of it. And then there's a vellum sheet here, which we're going to use some of that too. And some pearls, which I hid. Okay. So the kit makes, and this was one I made live when the kit came in. This is what it makes right out of the box. There is instructions that, that come with it that show you how to make it. Um, and the, again, that matches the envelopes. They are adorable, adorable. So I am going to make, just going to bring these in right here, five cards today. We're going to do, <laughs> we're going to do five alternate cards out of this kit, all of them using the, um, the basket weave folder, which I'm going to tell you about that in a second. Okay. These are the cards that we're going to make. I'm going to show you a really cool, I call it waffling. It probably has another name, but that's what I called it technique for this background. And so cool. It's almost like making your own designer paper. And we're going to make this eclipse card all with this kit and with just a couple extra added pieces. So first off, let me just show you real quick. Um, this here is the basket weave that's the basket weave um, folder. It is part currently part of Celebration. Um, so the, the the original Celebration products, which were released on January third, um, all are going not going to carry over. So after March thirty first, that's the last time you can get any of those special edition products, with the exception of the Celebrate Youth Inlets, which will be in the new annual catalog in June. Now on February sixteenth, we released a couple more products exclusive to stamp it up that will only be available again for free until March six, uh, March 31st. That included this bundle, which is the basket weave folder that we're going to be using today. And, um, the, oh my gosh, the, the basket, basket bunch, basket, oh, I'm drawing a blank. Somebody throw out the name of the basket stamp set, which I didn't bring. And that is explained. They go together. Um, they're only available until March 31st. They're free. These, these are free with a hundred dollar order. Now here is the, the, the thing to note about this. As of March 31st, the bundle will no longer be available. The stamp set will be retired. It will be discontinued. This folder that I'm using now will be available again in June for purchase. You will not be able to get it free then, and you won't be able to get it between April 1st and June. But when the new catalog comes out in June, this folder and the Celebrate Youth Inlets will be in it. And that's it from Celebration with the exception of the products that are being released tomorrow. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. So this is the folder that we're using today, Basket Weave. Again, you can get it free during Celebration or you can get it when it comes out in June. And this is the refill kit that I just opened up, Wildflower Wishes. It is available in my online store for, for purchase um, if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. And again, it's really easy to, to sign up even if you don't want to get the kits if you just want to get this refill. So you can purchase that in my online store. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled stamping. I have a free PDF for the five cards that we're making today. Um, it does have measurements on here, although all the pieces I'm using came in the kit um, with the exception of the Daffodil Delight. Um, but if you wanted to use your own products and kind of go outside the box, you, there are measurements there for you. Uh, my free PDFs accompany all of my videos. There's a space here for your notes, all of the supplies that I'm using, including the kit. Um, and you can download this on my blog by simply clicking on the link in this video's description. Now, um, the great thing about this is if you don't have the kit yet, if you're getting the refill now, or you're not able to follow along, but want to later, when you download this PDF, there's a link that brings you back to this video that we're making right now. So that will be on that, that resource page where the P free PDF is. In fact, it's on there now. It's happening now live, <laughs> just like it's happening on Facebook. And if you have a smartphone, there's a code here for you too. So that's a little bit about my, my PDFs. I, I do this for you with every class. Now, the stamping in this is going to be so fun. What I think I'm going to do is um, we're going to do all the card assembly and then we'll do all of the, the, the big shot work at once and then we'll put it all together. So it's really fun to work with. We're going to start with the most basic card. They're all pretty easy. These are all great for beginners. Okay. And I'm just going to zoom in a hair here so you can see what's happening. Now, here's what I did. If you wanted to use Whisper White cardstock instead, you could. 
Um, the card bases that come in this set were Sahara Sand on the outside, Whisper White on the inside. I just folded them like this. So now we're going to have a Sahara Sand inner to write our note on or stamp our note on. Okay. So now we're going to take for the thank you card of these pieces that I've, I've opened to the side from that kit. Um, one of these die cut labels, these are um, die cut label sheets that are pre-printed. I'll take one of those. And then from the stickers, I'm going to take the thank you, if I can find it. There it is. Okay, so this one super easy. All right, I'm just going to push that to the side for a second. I'm going to peel this off. I'm going to leave the letters down with the exception of I'm going to take the A and the U up in just a second, but I'll just show you that in a minute. And that, it's, it's a sticker sheet, so that just sticks right over the, um, the, the pattern piece. Now the A has a tiny little, see that little piece in the middle? And I'm going to use, I'm going to use the, um, the letter to line that up. So do you see what I did there? I just pushed the, pushed the center piece down, but didn't actually stick the letter. I'm going to do the same thing with this O, just to line up the center of it. Not actually pushing it down there. I'm only pushing the center down. So now we have the full letter there. It looks like the full letter. Okay. Oh, so this is the card that we're making right now. And then the only other piece that this one, actually, you know what? For this one, and it's going to have this background. For now, we're just going to put this piece aside and we're going to start working on our next card lineup. Uh, let's go with this one next. All right, so this is the friend card. Now with this one, instead of using the pattern piece like I did in the other one, I am actually layering over a piece of Daffodil Delight. Very minimal supplies with this, uh, oh, with all five of these cards. It was a very small, I don't know if you noticed that. Okay, so <laughs> I picked the wrong sheet. I had this pre-cut. And I, and I do have the measurements on that free PDF, but I picked up the wrong one when I came down here. So it is down here and you know what, I'm just, I'm going to freehand mine. I hope, I hope you're okay with that. Hopefully I don't make a huge error there. Okay. And you just need it to cover the word friend. So when you turn it over, you've got this, but see again, the E and the D are missing the innards. So exactly the same way. Let's pick those up inner didn't come with it that time. <laughs> Mary. Mary says, if you really want this, this kit, <laughs> if you really want this wildflower refill kit, the wildflower wishes refill kit, you might want to open a separate window and order it right now <laughs> because it may be sold out by the time I'm done with this class. You may be correct because they only have a small amount uh, whatever's left over when the run comes. And like I said, in March, there are not going to be no leftovers. Okay, so I'm just going to put the D down there and put the innard in the D. There we go. So now we have the word friend. Whoops. And we have, because it was sticky, it's sticking to my background. There we go. Okay, so next up, we're going to take a piece of that pattern paper and... There was three different patterns on it, but I think any of them work just fine here. Now we are going to line up some flowers. So I'm going to take one of these sticker sheets of flowers and we'll go ahead and line that up. Okay, so I'm going to start with the greenage and I'm going to put that way up in the corner on the right and on the bottom left here. And if you are just popping in, this is the Wildflower Wishes refill kit to um, February's paper pumpkin and this refill kit is the refill part of it is still available in the online store and these stickers are part of the refill okay so now I just want to line this up so I can make sure that the flowers show after we put this on so like that particular one isn't gonna I want to put it up where it's, you're gonna be able to see it okay and we'll put another set of those down below. Okay. 
I might even move that down just a little bit more. Okay. Okay. So now for this one, this is all we have for this, this piece until we do our waffling. So I'm going to put that one aside for now and we're going to start working on the next one. We'll do all the waffling together. <laughs> I love that word waffling. It's fun. Okay, this is a fun and easy one too. They're all fun and easy. All right, but this one uses the reverse of the thank you card. So we popped out the word thank you from this one. Now we are going to take another one of those decorative labels. I'm gonna take the long one. There was two different sizes there, shorter and longer. <laughs> Disregard that banging, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the long one there, and then we're going to take the letters that we left from the word thank you. And I'm going to start with the U and work my way backwards. I found that was the easiest way to keep them all lined up. And those just stick down. Okay. I know I'm putting these down quickly and I'm not really lining them up. I'm sure you could use a piece of paper or something to line them up to make them a little bit more perfect. Ours is going to be thanked with love though. Okay, so we've got our thank you all laid out there, and then we're going to pick which pattern paper we want to go on this one. Again, doesn't really matter. They're all kind of cool. They're all neutral. Now, we are going to stamp the so much. So this one says thank you, and then so much below. So we're going to leave that gonna stamp first, and then we'll, we'll leave the rest of that until we're done. So I've got an early espresso ink pad and the word so much, which was part of this stamp set. Now, if you get the refill, the stamp set is not part of that refill and um, you could probably substitute another stamp set so if you have the refill and not the actual stamp set that came in the original you could substitute that okay so this one is all ready for our waffling we're just going to put that to the side all right next up we've got this card so we're going to start with our background on this one And then just going to pick out your favorite flowers. Pretty much wanted to use a little bit of all of them. So we'll use the rest of these. Okay, so I'm just going to put that over here for now so I can kind of use it as a guide. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stamp the words first, I think, this time. So I can have those to kind of go by lining up. So I've got an early espresso ink pad. I'm going to ink that in the center but a little bit lower okay and if you don't like what you did there there is no flipping that one over so I do have a tip for you I have two tips for you actually one is and I didn't bring it because I'm a dope oh you know what? yeah I did okay I'm stamping an early espresso I've got an early espresso marker you can actually take it and fill in what didn't stale. This is the same with any outline stamp. I do it a lot with the black ones. I'm not outline, bold image, sorry. Okay, so that's one way to fix that. Now, the other tip that I have for you is this. Oh, if I can find mine, sorry. <laughs> I think it's hard to, to stamp when I have construction happening. I don't even know where half of my stuff is down here. Okay, the other tip I have for you is to use your, um, the, the paper piercing mat. 
I don't know where mine is, but I, I do recommend using that anytime you're stamping with photopolymer stamps because they don't have the foam padding the rubber has. It is very, very helpful to use that. Okay, so we're going to try that one more time. Ah, beautiful. Okay, so now we have that for a guide. Let's go ahead and line up some flowers. So, and these all just kind of peel and stick, and I was kind of random with them. I love these little blue guys. They just make everything pop for some reason. It's just the color is just so pretty. We'll even put a little greenage in there. I'm not leaving quite as much space between the flowers and the words this time, but that's okay. Give us a couple different looks here. They're all good. I love all these flowers. They're so pretty. Just the, just those alone are worth getting the refill kit for these, these cute little guys. Okay, so I've got a little bit of green inch down here. I want to make my greenage a little bit more even than I had it going on there. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. And let's see. All right. So now I'm going to just flip this over. So there's a little bit of overhang on these flowers. Just going to trim off that. And then we are, um, that, that panel is all set and we are ready to get started. We're just going to put it aside until we are ready to do our waffling. And we are going to do our eclipse card. Oh, I love this one. I love them all. I do love them all. But this one is just so cool. Okay, so we've got our, our background here. And I'm using the word celebrate. Okay, I wonder if I should use the word friend. You want to do the word friend on this one? Let's do friend. We did celebrate on the original. We'll do friend on this one. Uh, yeah, we can do it. Whatever. We'll do celebrate. Okay, so I've got the ink pad. Now, I'm going to stamp right over the letters. This is a really cool... Um, technique to do if you have the alphabet um, dies. Those awesome alphabet dies. Don't mind the banging going on upstairs. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. We are under construction here. So I've got two different flowers that came in the kit. If you do not, if you if you're just getting the refill and you didn't have the original kit with the stamp set, you could probably substitute. Um, a different floral set to do this with. Okay, and I'm just literally stamping right over those letters with these two, and I'm being a little bit more even than I wanted to be, but that's okay. You guys get the gift. All right, now for this part, I am going to use stamp and blend markers. So I've got three here. I've got the darker Daffodil Delight, the bronze, and the lighter Old Olive. And I'm going to use the brush tip end of all of them to color in. And I'm not really blending here. I'm literally just coloring. But they're so brilliant. The color in them is just so brilliant. They really, really jump out at you. So they made a really nice design. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see a little bit closer what's happening. Okay, so I'm using the old olive on the leaves. And I did intentionally um, stamp that right over the letters so they overlap. That's part of, part of the um, eclipse technique is you need it to overlap with the letters. Mm 
Okay. Yes, Patricia is <laughs> going back to my stamping when I stamped um, the word. She said the Stamparatus will fix that. Yes, it will. I cannot wait for that Stamparatus to be available in the new catalog. I know some of you were lucky enough to get in on the pre-order and get yours now, but I can't wait until it comes out because that is just groundbreaking. It's so amazing and there's just nothing like it. Nothing like it. Okay, so I'm using the bronze um, Stampin' Right marker to color the flowers in. Just the, the, the petal part of the flowers. Just to make them kind of pop a little bit because it was like a little bit of a darker um, color to the celebrate. So now you can see what that did. Okay. Uh, Patricia's asking what letters are these? Probably you popped in late. This is the um, Wildflower Wishes Paper Pumpkin Kit for February, which you can purchase the refill to in my online store. So this is actually the refill part of the, the kit. Okay. So for this one, we're just going to leave this for now because it is now time for us to do our backgrounds. If you like the Eclipse car technique, I do have this on my blog um, using the alphabet letters. I do have that technique. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside and we're going to move all of this out of the way so you guys can see what's happening. All right, I'm bringing in the Big Shot die cut machine. Okay. This is the basket weave folder, and um, just because some of you, um, Patricia may not be the only one that popped in late, this folder that I'm using right now comes as a set during celebration um, with the celebration basket stamp set. This is a bundle that you can get free as a, a level two, and that's only until March 31st. Now, um, the note on this, the, the folder only, not the stamp set's going to retire on March 31st, but the folder only will be available again in June. Um, so that in June you'll be able to purchase it. It won't be for free. You'll have to purchase it. Um, but currently you can get it free during celebration. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is the background to the eclipse card. We're going to do all the backgrounds with this basket weave. I'm going to run it through now. This is a dynamic folder, so it only needs one cutting pad and the multi-purpose cutting platform that came on it. Okay. All right. So that one. And they're all going to have this beautiful basket texture to it. There was one more that was plain. And that was the very first one we did. So the very first thank you card we did was also plain. I'm going to send that one through. And then we're going to get to the really cool stuff. Not that it isn't always really cool, because it is. That alone is awesome, right? Okay. Okay, so that one goes with the thank you card. Okay, next up we have, this are the um, flowers that we did. I'm going to stick that all done right into the folder. Do you notice here that the Big Shot is an ambi-turner? You can put in your panel going left or right, either way, and it still works exactly the same. Okay, here's the magic. Isn't that awesome? It's like making your own background paper. It literally just made everything flatten into this weave. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so thank you so much. The only thing I forgot to do on this one, I'm going to take some snail and attach. I'm going to do this where you can see it. I'm going to attach this tag to our cart. using the snail adhesive. I'm going to do that before, sorry. And we're going to stick that one in the basket weave. Okay. Okay, and we're going to crank that through. Awesome, right? So cool. So cool. I mean, that alone is worth <laughs> worth your celebration order. Okay, and the last one. Now, I don't want the friend on the friend card, just the background, because the friend we're going to pop up. 
and that goes in the folder. I call it waffling. It probably has another uh, another name, but so cool. Okay. And that is the background. It's so cool, right? Awesome. Okay, and that's the basket weave folder. Again, you can get that free right now during celebration. And it will not be available from April 1st until June 1st until the new catalog comes out. And then when the new catalog comes out, it will be available. All right, now I just moved all of my stuff out of the way for you guys. And now I've got to find what I did with the card bases. Oh, there they are. No, there they aren't. Where did I put everything? Oh my gosh, I couldn't have gone too far, right? I mean, everything was right here because... Oh my goodness. And I don't even have construction happening in this room. And I still lost it all. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> really? And you wonder how I'm working with all the construction happening. All right. So next we're going to do a little bit of sponging. Going to take the um, early espresso ink pad and sponge the edges of everything because that just makes everything pop. Embedded embossing, Kim says, what she thinks this is called. We'll just call it anything, but personally, I love waffling. <laughs> I don't know, maybe because it makes me hungry, makes me think of waffles, I don't know, but... Okay. sponging everything because I love sponging. I just think it makes everything pop. It really does. It's that little touch that brings so much to your project. Okay, so next up we've got these two plain backgrounds because we're doing five cards. Can you believe we got five cards almost all done <laughs> in this time? Oh my gosh, right? <laughs> Seriously, that refill kit, the water wildflower i'm going to call it something else in a minute the wildflower wishes eight dollars for that refill kit look how far it goes just the envelopes alone are worth it and they're beautiful okay all right now the only other thing we need to sponge that isn't out yet is the edge of the celebrate from our eclipse so i'm going to peel that out but i'm going to put it back until i'm ready to assemble that part there is a little a little magic to assembling the uh, the eclipse card so we'll do that one last okay so we've got all of our sponging done and we are ready i'm taking the card bases that come in the kit or you could use whisper white or sahara sand whatever you want i actually like the whisper white side so i folded it in like this inside out and we're going to take some stampin dimensionals and we are just going to go to town here all right starting with I guess it doesn't matter where we start, right? These are all going down. My friend Tina Waddell was um, <laughs> making a project the other day, and um, she was talking about dimensionals and how she didn't put a dimensional in the middle and how it sagged. <laughs> we don't want any saggy cards. Oh, really, they're cheap. I'll just put one in the middle. I don't want a saggy saggy card. Thanks. Wendy is actually linking to this folder, but um, if you have not seen the folder yet, you can get all the information on my blog and the link is in this video's description. I have everything right there for you. I try to make it easy for you guys. It's part of my job, right? <laughs> That's what I spend all my time in my office doing is making it easy for you guys, which is why I need my office to be done. <laughs> which is why there's a lot of sawing going on right now. Oh, it'll happen. It'll happen. It'll be worth it when it's done too, but man, it's a little tough right now. I was um, I was stamping this morning in the, in, and I stamped in my dining room, but my dining room table is covered with stuff right now. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like, this is hard. <laughs> it's hard. 
Okay, so here is the friend card going down. I'm just using Stampin' Dimensionals to put it all down. Um, okay, what have we got? We've got this one going on. Again, just flipping these inside out. Thank you, Barbara. She says you do a great job. Thank you. I appreciate that. Another sheet of dimensionals around. Never have enough dimensionals. I swear, <laughs> that's probably the number one thing I order. Because every time I place an order, I'm throwing dimensionals on it. I love these guys. Um, this one, before I stick it down, and I've already unstuck, I want to wrap a little linen thread around it. Okay. So let's make sure I do that before I... There we go. Okay. So now I can stick it down and then I'm just going to tie there. All right. Are you guys, can you, can you uh, believe how quickly that's all? I mean, these are all different cards, a couple of different techniques going on here. Five cards in a, in this tiny little span of time. <laughs> Seriously, it's amazing these you know what you can do with these kits. I love them and they're beautiful. All right, so I'm just going to trim that one up. Okay, and we'll move that one over there and okay, so I've got two more to go for a basis. We've got this one. No, this one's naked right now, but it's not going to be naked for long. And then we're going to work on the Eclipse card. The Eclipse part of the Eclipse card. <laughs> Kathy says just hearing the hearing the sawing is exciting. She can't wait to see the new office. Yeah, I'm <laughs> hearing it is exciting and a little nerve-wracking at the same time. It's hard to concentrate, but I am getting used to it. Like I said, you know, the silence when they're done is going to be deafening. So we're going to pop up the thank you on this one. And then we're all over making some Eclipse. Okay, so we've got our thank you card. And our last one, again, taking the bases that came in here, flipping them inside out so that they're white. Okay. I, I can see Mary's wheels are turning. She's wondering what other embossing folders can she use to do this waffling technique with, right? So you might be seeing, you see Mary, so I share her live at fives on my Facebook page. So you might be seeing her doing this waffling em embedded emboss technique on that coming, coming soon to a Facebook page near you. Okay, it is time for some Eclipse. So first thing I'm going to do is take the outline that we sponged and lay that flat in the center. Okay, I am going to zoom you in just a hair so you, you can concentrate on what's happening here. Now we've got everything all stamped and ready to go. Now the trick to this, and you could use the edges to your dimensionals if you, if you don't have these strips, but these strips are in the online store and I think when you're making an Eclipse card, they are the key here. So they're um, foam adhesive strips, also great for window cards. I just want to put a long strip on the back of the letter, and then I'm going to put a little bit more on the C there. Cut that up. So these are the adhesive uh, foam foam strips. Again, those are in my online store. Or you could cut up a tiny, you know, like cut a strip out of the edge of the dimensionals. Oops. Performance anxiety. I can't get the back off. <laughs> oh, because you know why I can't get the back off of that one? Don't laugh, because the back was already off. <laughs> Yep, true story. Okay, now because we stamped ahead of time, they're all lined up. They're all lined up with the letters that are already there. 
Okay, now I want that center of that E to be down flat. So just like we did with the other card, I'm going to line that up. My lining up did not work so good with this one. Oops. Come back. Come back. Oh my gosh, what have I done here? Seriously. I lost my piece. Well, we're just going to keep... You know what we're going to do? This is all going to go together with the foam strips. We are going to move along. When you're done, it's going to look like this. When you've attached all of your foam strips. Beautiful, right? Awesome. Love the Eclipse. Okay, now... We want a, a couple little finishing touches on our cards here, on the rest of our cards. So all I did was I took, now there's some pearl adhesives that come in this kit. So I used some of those, but I also used some of the bigger pearls to go on there. So I actually took an actual sheet of pearls. I'm giving some away, by the way. I'm giving these away with the live um, prizes today. And then we just stuck them down on the cards. Now, an easy way to do that is to take your paper snips, like a pair of scissors, and just pop them down. And they just slide right on there. And the last thing I did on a couple of these was I slid these um, little vellum leaves come in the kit, and I slid some of those underneath. So you can see I put a couple of big pearls on this one. And that is all there is to this card set. So, let me back you guys out again. Here they are. Whoops, actually, you know what? Let's go back in close. Here's the cards. Again, uh, close ups are on my blog. All flattened. See, the, if, if you came in late and missed that, you want to go back and watch it. So easy, so cool. We have our Eclipse card, our Thank You card, and we have another Thank You card here. All done with the Wildflower Wishes uh, paper pumpkin kit, which you can still get the refill in my online store. All right, you guys, that is our class for today. So you know what that means. It is now time for a giveaway. So if you've left a comment here on um, Facebook, you are automatically entered to win. Even if you left it earlier and didn't win the early bird drawing, you will be at, uh, eligible to win now. And um, I am going to... Start with, um, I have two Flora and Flutter. These are the December kits, Flora and Flutter kits to give away. The first one is going to Kathy Peterson. And the second one is going to Dawn. And uh, it's G-J-E-R-T-V-I-G. -E I'm not even going to try to say that. Dawn from Minnesota. <laughs> Congratulations, ladies. Be sure to fill out the prize claim form in this video's description. And the last prize I have is the tote bag and the wildflower wishes full kit that I'm using right now and that one goes to Kathy Phillips congratulations Kathy all right now if you didn't win if you were not a winner you are still eligible simply by leaving a comment even if you're not watching live if you're watching the replay of this you are still eligible to win I will be drawing the wildflower wishes full kit and tote on March 27th I'll announce it here on Facebook I will also be announcing it on my stampwithtammy.com blog. There's actually a page of winners there. And the prize claim form is also there, which is linked in this video's description if you are a winner. You'll also find it in my weekly newsletter where I send out free tutorials every week as well. All kinds of bonuses in that Tuesday newsletter. If you are not subscribed and you're on Facebook right now, go to my events and there's a link right there. You can click it, boom, and you will get all the stuff free in your inbox every Tuesday. All right, guys. So thanks for um, bearing with the sawing. <laughs> um, I hope to have a little update um, on Friday's class or maybe ne next Tuesday's class, maybe more like it. It's slow going. Um, but I hope to have an update then on what's happening with the office and soon it will be done and, and everything will be back to normal and and we won't have all this fun sawing in the background. All right, guys, so I will be back on Friday with our uh, live class on Facebook at noon Eastern Standard Time. But if there's any changes to that, another storm happens to pop up, I will be updating the event section of my base Facebook page. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today.